Data leak exposes UAE interference in France to find negative information on Qatar. Mourners flood social media with condolences after a young Qatari dies in Paris. Rally car driver Nasser al atiyah is filmed in an accident in the desert. And the football season is getting heated ahead of the Emir Cup. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. A leak of documents as well as testimonies to French outlet Mediapart have revealed the behind-the-scenes influence strategy of the United Arab Emirates in France. The report reveals the backstage of an influence operation in France and Europe that is reportedly directly supervised by the UAE secret services. The report said Abu Dhabi's spies relied on the Swiss intelligence and influence company Alp Services, which planned counter-lobbying actions against Qatar. The objective is also to influence the press and publish false articles attacking Doha and alleged activities linked to the Muslim Brotherhood, the report said. This is just one of various anti-Qatar campaigns that have been pinned on the neighboring Gulf state despite ties resuming in 2021. And now, condolences and prayers have flooded social media platforms in Qatar following the death of a young Qatari man on Wednesday. According to social media users, Hamad Abdel Hakim Al Abdullah died as a result of a heart attack while skiing in France. Following the unfortunate incident, an Arabic hashtag began trending on Twitter as friends and family members mourned his death. Over in Abu Dhabi, Qatar superstar rally racer Nasser Al Atiyah withdrew from the race after an accident. A video that surfaced online showed the moment his car flipped, causing damage to the vehicle. Updating his fans shortly after the incident, Al Atiyah said he was alive and well. And finally, Al Said has announced the signing of Moroccan forward Ayoub Al Kabi as a replacement for Andrea Ayou, while Umuslal Sport Club substituted Yassine Al Bakhid for Valentino Yuel. Both star studded teams expect to reign in the skills of the starters during a vital time in Qatar's football league as the Emir Cup is set to kick off. Al Said will now face trophyless Al Marqiyah in the round of 16 fixture of the Emir Cup. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app.